everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ruby Pajuli and on this channel we talk about curls. Today's video I'm going to show you how to achieve those natural, effortless, free-flowing, bouncy, voluminous curls. When it comes to achieving this type of look, it is all about letting your curls shine naturally the way that your curl pattern naturally is. We are not going to do any curl manipulation in this video. We are just going to apply all our products with our fingers. That's the secret, applying your product with your fingers, everything, leave-in, oil, cream or mousse, whatever you decide to use. In this video, we are going to be using mousse because mousse is the most lightweight curl product you can apply to your hair. So let's get to it. First thing we're gonna do is to apply our leave-in. You want to pick a light leave-in, type of leave-in, no butters, something that is lightweight. I'm using the As I Am leave-in conditioner. It's my go-to, I love it. We're gonna start applying from the ends and then working our way up to the mid shaft and then lastly the roots. So the amount of product you wanna apply into your hair is about a pea size, like a dime size. And we are going to just saturate it with our fingers. Okay, so that's done. The next thing we wanna do is we're gonna apply our product. In this step, you can choose to isolate your crown area, which is what I like to do. So I'm gonna take just a little piece and isolate that because I, I style it the same, but I just like to give it some more attention. Let's put this section away. The styling product that I'm using today is the Botanica Beauty Mousse. It's called the Enhancer Mousse. I'm using this one because you can't really see because of the lighting, but I'm using this one because it is a very lightweight mousse. In order to achieve those effortless, lightweight, bouncy, free-flowing curls, you want to use a styling product that is very very light let me apply a few pumps this is how the mousse is so that you can see very light and airy and now I'm just going to apply this with my fingers and again we're gonna start from the bottom and work our way to the top I'm going to apply one more pump and this is going to be focused on the roots and now I'm gonna take this part and I'm gonna start adding the rest of the product that's on my hands onto this area my front area is usually for most people their most problematic area and that's because we do the most to the front of our hair so when I style this section I like it to be saturated with water now I'm gonna go in just a little bit this much for the front and then I'm going to connect it with the rest of my hair. Now, this is the part where you are going to use your fingers, right? To, cre to try and create as much airflow and movement. So what I like to do, I like to start on the bottom, right? The bottom of our hairs, right? We want it to lay down, so we are going to be passing our fingers down. We're gonna be working with gravity here, only for the bottom, for this part, okay? Now, since we want our curls to just be moving freely however they want, in order to achieve that, we have to make sure that our hair is not being dried down onto our scalp. And in order to achieve that, the way that we do that is by using our fingers and lifting our roots from our scalp. So we're gonna be lifting. I like to turn my hair one side and do this, right? Use the fingers and make sure you are moving the roots off of your scalp. And then I turn to the other side, do the same. And now I'm gonna flip my hair upside down and keep doing the same. But the thing about when you're flipping your hair upside down, you are working against gravity, okay? That is how we're gonna be achieving the most volume up here, okay? Now we're gonna scrunch. So now we have our product in. 
we are going to now diffuse. When it comes to achieving this type of look that we're going for, you want to diffuse. You don't want to air dry because air drying, you're keeping your hair one direction. So that means your hair is going to dry down. We don't want that. We want to constantly like move our, our hair while we're diffusing because that's what's going to give us the most free flowing curls. So now that we have our diffuser, I'm using the Dyson diffuser but you can use any blow dryer will work as long as you have a diffuser attachment. So a few tips and tricks I wanna leave you here with before you start diffusing is we're going to be using the hover technique at first, okay? So what that means is we are going to be hovering the blow dryer around our hair, right? We don't want the blow dryer to touch our curls yet, but you do, however, want to, like every, every five minutes turn your hair a different direction so what do i mean by that at first i'm going to start like this and then i'm going to flip my hair this way and then i'm going to hover the fuse like this for a bit then i'm going to flip my hair the other way and diffuse keep diffusing like this and then you can flip your hair over and diffuse for five minutes like that and you just keep alternating sides until your hair is 100% dry so let's do that now diffused all dried there is one extra step you don't have to do this if you don't want to however i like to do this because it ensures that all of my roots are not on my scalp it just blows extra air throughout my curls it separates the curls as well however with this step you have to be very very careful okay because you can definitely create frizz so what i like to do i take my diffuser off of my blower right and then i turn on my blower i put it to the lowest setting possible and no heat absolutely no heat and what i like to do is just blast some air on my roots just lifting whatever is left on my scalp no just lifting whatever roots are left on my scalp off of my scalp let's do this i'll show you So now that we're done with that step, we are going to move on to the last step, which is to seal everything we just did. We are going to use oil that is going to be our sealant, and that is also going to work as scrunching the cast. Usually you have a cast when you use gel. We didn't use gel, but we did use mousse. The oil that I like to use, my favorite oil, is jojoba oil. I got this from Amazon. It is the certified organic, cold press and unrefined, lightweight, fast absorbing as well, so it's not going to weigh your hair down, and it's good for the face, hair, and body. I like to just add a few drops I'm doing three drops and then I put it on my hands on my fingers on my fingers and then I just rub it through my hair and I'm also scrunching out the cast this helps with curl separation as well. We didn't use a brush, so we don't have a lot of clumps that we have to declump, which is perfect. You can keep scrunching out whatever cast you may have, depending on the product you use. You can separate some curls if you like. However, the whole point of this routine is so that you don't have to separate your curls. Your hair should just naturally be free flowing. If you want to use a pick, now's the perfect time. These are the results. This is how your hair should come out. It should feel very soft, like you don't have much product. That's the whole point of this routine. Oh my God, I'm so hot. But these are the results. Hopefully your hair turned out like this as well. The nice thing about this is you can also flip it on this side. 
if you like your hair to look like you know if if you like your part to be on the side you can do that there's this side you can also do this side and the reason why it's so easy to switch back from part to part whatever part you like is because of the way that we applied our product we applied it with our fingers and we separated our curls when we were applying and also the way that we dried our hair, the way that we diffused it. We're, we were constantly flipping our hair from side to side so that our hair wouldn't dry any specific way. That is the key to have free flowing hair that you can manipulate however way you want is by making sure it doesn't dry in a specific setting, you know? If you just dried your hair with the mid, if you just did your middle part when you styled and you just dried like this, it would stay like this and it would be really hard for you to be able to do a side part because it would constantly go back to a middle part. That being said, these are the results. I really hope you enjoyed this. Try it out. Let me know what your results are. Once again, my name is Ruby Patchouli. I post videos about curls and about self-development and just feeling better about yourself. If you like this content, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week in another one. Bye.